Hello, students. Welcome back to our Team City Devotion Two. Do you still remember what we learned in Team City Devotion last week? That's right. Last week we learned about Xiao. Xiao means being filial and care for your parents and also elders. But why should we? Let me explain to you with a short story. Enjoy. Today is Sally's birthday. Sally is a lucky young girl who always celebrates her birthday with her beloved parents, who prepare a big birthday cake and, of course, lots of presents. During bedtime, as usual, Sally always asks for her mother to read a bedtime story. Mom, please read a bedtime story for me. Okay, dear. What story do you want to hear? Anything, mom. Anything will do. Okay. A simple story for tonight, then. Once there was a young woman. She got married with the man she loved and moved to another city with her husband, away from her parents. Were they happy? Not at the beginning. She enjoyed living with the person she loves, but sometimes she felt lonely when her husband was at work. Then she began to lose her appetite. She thought it was because she was lonely and missed her parents so much. She even threw up when she ate. She couldn't eat or drink anything at all, not even water. And every time she saw food, she felt the urge to throw up. She looked so pale and skinny. She felt tired all the time, and sometimes. She cried for no reason. Her husband was worried about her. He decided to take her to the hospital. They were shocked when the doctor told them they were having a baby, and it was already two months old. Your body is growing a human inside. It needs a lot of energy. That's why you're always tired. From the moment they saw the baby picture in the tummy, they promised to give the best they could for the baby. Her husband worked very hard to earn money and save up for the baby. He worked day and night, and sometimes drank more than five cups of coffee to keep him awake to finish piles of works every day. He spent more money to buy the best nutritious food for his wife and baby, while he only ate the cheapest and simplest kind of food he could find. The woman's tummy grew bigger and bigger every week. She breathed heavily as she moved, and her body felt so sore since she had to carry the big tummy 24 hours a day. She had a hard time sleeping at night. She tried different sleeping positions, but none was comfortable enough with her big tummy. Her body started to change too. Her feet and hands were swollen. Red pimples covered her used to be clean and beautiful face. Stretch marks started to appear on her skin. She realized that her appearance will change, and her old self will never return. Finally, the day has come. The woman was brought to hospital because she had an extreme pain on her tummy. Her husband worriedly waited outside while his beloved wife was fighting for her life. And their baby inside the delivering room. After a long twelve hours, finally the baby was born. When they saw and held the baby for the first time, they knew all of the pain they endured for the past ten months were all worth it. And then the woman, her husband, and the baby lived happily ever after. I know, mom. It was you, right? Eight years ago, you and Dad struggled so much. You even faced the danger of life and death to bring me to life. I love you, Mom. And I love you too. You're a good daughter, and we are happy that you are born. From the short story we watched, I hope you understand why we need to be filial to our parents. To conclude our story today, let's read the Jingzi Aphorism. 生日是母难日，应该做有益社会人群的事，以报父母养育之恩。Our mothers suffered a great deal of pain in giving birth to us. 
so we should celebrate our birthdays by doing good. That is the best way to repay our mothers for giving us life and raising us. Today we watch Sally and her parents' story, but each family has different story. You can ask your parents about their story too. It will be an amazing bedtime story that you will remember forever. I hope you will enjoy your birth story tonight. See you next week.